First Chronicles 11. Then all Yasharel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Shaul was king, thou wast he that leddest out and broughtest in Yasharel. And Yahuwah thy Elohim said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Yasharel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Yasharel. Therefore came all the elders of Yasharel to the king to Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before Yahuwah, and they anointed David king over Yasharel, according to the word of Yahuwah by Shemuel. And David and all Yasharel went to Jerusalem, which is Yebus, where the Yebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Yebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smitest the Yebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab the son of Zeruyahu went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle. Therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Nilo round about. And Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for Yahuwah Sebaoth was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Yasharel, to make him king, according to the word of Yahuwah concerning Yasharel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had, Yashabaim Achachmanite, the chief of the captains. He lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pasdamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground, full of barley. And the people fled from before the Philistines, and they set themselves in the midst of that parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines. And Yahuwah saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam, and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Raphaim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, O oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, that is at the gate. And the three brake through the host of the Philistines, and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem, that was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to Yahuwah, and said, My Elohim forbid it me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three. For lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them, and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain. Howbeit, he attained not to the first three. Benayahu, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kavzeel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also, he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, and in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benayahu the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three. And David set him over his guard. Also, the valiant men of the armies were Asahel, the brother of Joab, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamoth, the Herorite, Helez, the Pelonite, Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite, Abiezer, the Antothite, Zibikai, the Hushathite, Elai, the Ahohite, Bahabrai, the Netophathite, Haled, the son of Baana, the Netophathite, Ithai, the son of Ribai, of Gibeah, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benayahu, the Peranavite, 
Hurai of the brooks of Gaash, Aviel, the Arbathite, Azmaveth, the Baharumite, Eliava, the Shaalbanite, the sons of Hashem, the Gizanite, Yahunatham, the son of Shag, the Hararite, Ahiam, the son of Sakar, the Hararite, Eliphal, the son of Ur, Hefer, the Mekerathite, Ahiyahu, the Pelanite, Hezro, the Carmelite, Naarai, the son of Ezbai, Yoel, the brother of Nathan, Mifhar, the son of Hageri, Zelek, the Ammonite, Naharai, the Berathite, the armor bearer of Yoab, the son of Zeruyahu, Ira, the Ethrite, Gerev, the Ethrite, Uriyahu, the Hittite, Zabad, the son of Ahlai, Adina, the son of Shiza, the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him, Hanan, the son of Maaka, and Yehoshaphat, the Mithnite, Uziyahu, the Ashterathite, Shama, and Yehael, the sons of Hothan, the Ararite, Yediael, the son of Shimri, and Yoha, his brother, the Tizite, Eliel, the Mahavite, and Yeribai, and Yashiviyahu, the son of El Naam, and Ithma, the Moabite, Eliel, and Obed, and Yasiel, the Mesobite.